G'day there everybody. I uh, just wanted to do a quick one today to show you how to make one of these by filler pancake coils if you've never made one. Now what I have here, I have a CD spindle with a couple of CDs to give me a bit of a space up from the little rim at the bottom. And I use a clear divider that comes in the bottom of the spindle. And I've got some speaker wire. It's got two cores. One of them's marked with a black stripe. You want a pair of wire cutters and some gaffer tape or some super glue. You can use glue. It's just to hold the coil together to stop it from falling apart. So, all I do, bring the um, wire out like this. I wrap it around once in the direction I'm going to be winding in. And around the edge of, of the spindle, you'll notice these little clipping points for the lid. And I just feed the wire down into there to hold it in place. Like so. Pull that tight, get it sitting down as flat as you can. Stick this clear divider on top. And then you just start winding. First wind or two is a little bit tricky, but after that it gets a bit easier. Yeah, I've lost it there. But so once you get the first couple down and you get out from the center, it gets a lot easier. You do have to hold a bit of pressure on the um, clear divider to get it to all go well. There we go, we're off now. And let's just stop it there. There's my um, start of my coil. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of extra slack. Snip that off there. Chuck this back on here so it doesn't all unravel. And holding the other CD underneath. So to keep it all together. Work it up like that. Flip it over. Carefully lift that up, check it's all sitting okay, from the other side, the press, take your piece of tape, and lay him down like that, and there you have it, that's the coil wound, now we've just got to connect it up. Let's do that. Just take my side cutters and I snip down the center of both of those. Pull them apart a little bit. Strip off the ends. Not too much because we're about to put two of them together. So now we take one of the black stripes and hook it up to the one with no black stripe on the other side. So that's those two. Get out of there, you other one. I probably should have given myself a little bit more room here. There we go, twisting up nicely now. And there you have it. That can be a receiver coil, in which case you would put your load, something like these two LEDs that I've got, which are now bipolar, bidirectional, across there. Like so. And you wouldn't if you were putting a load on you wouldn't use the center tap. Or if you were to hook it up as a transmitter, you would put the centre one to the positive of your battery and one of those to the collector and one of the base of the transmitter, of the transistor, sorry, 
and the emitter of the transistor would go to the negative of your battery. And that's it. If you want to go higher voltages, you'll need a um, resistor on the base side. And this one, I'm going to... I found my 1 ohm resistors, so I'll be putting one of those on that one. Maybe with an LED as well, we'll see what happens, and I'll be doing some um, amp and power tests. Thanks for watching.